Cisco Certified Network Associate. I'm Imran Rafai, your trainer for this entire series. Now, we are going to start a brand new series that is going to be on Cisco CCNA version 3. Right now, people who know me would be asking me, Imran, why are you starting a new series when we already have a series? That's because Cisco has updated their curriculum or their CCNA from CCNA version 2 to CCNA version 3. So, there were so many drastic changes. Um, I thought it, it is going to be better if I start a brand new series. But what about the videos that you already watched? Don't worry, every video that we had in the previous series, the, the series that ran up to 22 videos or rather 21, uh, day 21, which is 24 videos, I think, right? So, or rather 23 videos. So, all the 23 videos that you watch part of the old series, it's still relevant. So, nothing to worry. It's just that we will be starting a new series. We will put those same 23 videos in this in this uh, series. So, the first 23 videos is going to be exactly the same, right? And the new video, the new, new topics are going to start from day 22. That will be our 25th video, 24th video right so nothing to worry it's just a brand new start uh, for a brand new version of CCNA so welcome everybody for people who have watched me from old videos welcome again and for new people welcome to a brand new way of learning before we go who is networking networking is a YouTube channel right which started in 2013 uh, November we started as a one-off video that I wanted to create for uh, Cisco CCNA and uh, very quickly it started catching up views people started watching it uh, people started asking questions people wanted a second video and then it went on and in the last two years I, I recorded about 21 videos or 20 23 videos uh, today we have 65,000 or 65,000 subscribers. We have uh, a, a combined view of more than 3 million. Uh, so we have more than 3 million views on, on these 23 videos and we are very, very, very humble to say the least. Um, I know a lot of people complain, a lot of people ask me why am I not recording more videos because it's helping all of them so much. I'm humbled by all the praise that I get and all the comments that I get. Uh, we've not been uh, had enough resources to allocate for this project but whenever I have got enough time I have gone ahead and, and recorded a video. And uh, last few months I have slowed down uh, the uh, number of videos that I recorded uh, mainly because I knew Cisco was going to update this CCNA syllabus uh, in, in, in June and uh, like we know now uh, from August 20th they are going to update and they're going to go into the new uh, CCNA uh, exam. So it's a good thing that we have slowed down so we can now start concentrating on this and building this series forward and also what we can do is uh, I mean I need to tell you at this point that whatever the 23 videos that we have is very much relevant to the new CCNA version 3 right so so whatever you have watched whatever videos we have it's just going to be our assets it's not going to go I mean if you watch it brilliant please feel free to watch it all over again because it's only going to cement the ideas and the topics that you already know so we have a lot of things planned right and what I'm gonna do is instead of continuing the old 200 120 uh, uh, video series from YouTube I thought I would start a new series which of which this is going to be very very first video the introduction video of the new CCNA 200 125 that's the CCNA version 3 video right so this is a new series for the latest uh, CCNA CCNA. Um, the people who have been following me from the old series, that is the CCNA uh, 200 120 series, don't worry guys, whatever that you have learnt is absolutely fine. Like I said, uh, this series I will have the same 23 videos going in this series as well. So I will put a link towards the end of uh, this video. You should have it somewhere on the right. You will have a link. Click on that link. It will directly take you to the 23rd video or that is the day 
22 uh, we have 23 videos like i said is because we in, on day 3 we have uh, day 3 am pm and ln so we have three day 3 videos so though the video title says day 21 it's actually the 23rd video right so day 22 video is where our old viewers viewers who are coming from our old 200 120 series will be going directly and you can watch that there or if you think you have forgotten some of the topics feel free to continue from here going to the next video and video and continue all the way till uh, day 21 so which whatever you feel uh, comfortable for all those people who are joining me for the first time my name is Imran and I am going to be your trainer so why have we been so popular and why why we have had this many uh, people who ha has been watching my videos and um, who who like the like the work that we're doing i primarily think uh, that is because we uh, try and make learning fun and we try to break down the complex topics involved in in a, in a specialized certification exam like ccna we have a lot of technical aspects what i have done is i've taken those complex technical concepts and broken it down to easily understandable uh, concepts so people love that and i think that is the right way to learn most of the time it's not the students who have problems it's it's the teacher the way they teach them that's wrong and that's why students end up not learning or uh, they lose interest in a particular topic so i try my best to do what is right for the students and and i try to make it interesting right so let's let's hope you all of you new people who are joining me today you're going to like my my style of teaching and um like i said welcome so what has changed cisco ccna can be achieved by writing in in two different ways one you could write the single exam the composite exam known as the ccna x uh, that is the 200 120 exam which the last day of which is 20th august of 2016 so that exam is converted to the new exam the updated version that's called the 200 125 exam right so you can write this one exam or you could write two different exams so this the, the this topic remains the same so whether you write this one exam of ccna or you write these two separate exams of icnd1 and icnd2 it is going to be the same thing right so the syllabus is going to be the same thing but it is broken down into two different exams which is going to be easy on people who are starting i mean if if you if you're in if you're coming to ccn for the first time it's going to be very very easy if you want to write this 200120 august 20th is the last day like explained here and if you want to write icnd1 i think this dates have been mixed up I, i think when i when i put the dates it's mixed up icnd1 the last date is august 20th and icnd2 the last date is 24th of september right if you don't want to do this if you want to do the later syllabus then of course you have the new exam code 201.5 and 101.5 right so we could write this so let's quickly go and check what are the topics uh, that is there in the new exam if you come to cisco ccna routing and switching page uh, we see that they have clearly mentioned here about the last date to take the test and which is september 24th as we already discussed and we see uh, all the exam changes so 200 is going to become 200 125 is 105 and 101 200 101 becomes 200 105 right so let's see what is the new topic that is there in uh, the ccna version 3 composite exam that is a 200 125 the syllabus is going to be the same whether you're going to take the icnd1 icnd2 route or if you going if you're going to take the 200 125 route So let us see what has changed in Cisco CCNA version 3. One thing that we need to note is a lot of IP version 6 topic has come in here so they're giving more importance to IP version 6 now which is a good thing which is more forward looking I think. Uh, even even more infrastructure components like firewall access point wireless controller uh, this is coming to CCNA which is brilliant. Uh, LAN switching uh, I think most of them are there. I think they have um Yeah, I think you know a little bit of um, in-depth Ether channel. They've gone into Ether channel, uh, PV ST plus RPV ST. We did have a little bit of this STP uh, concepts, uh, which is brilliant. I think it's they're going more in-depth into those topics. Routing um, IP uh, RIP, for instance, has come back. 
uh, there are a lot of uh, IPv6 routing protocols which is brilliant we are looking at the latest uh, routing protocols with IP version 6 they give more importance to IP version 6 which is brilliant um, WAN technologies they've added a lot of WAN technologies QoS uh, which is uh, more uh, to do with voice technologies brilliant that makes a good comeback or rather it comes into the topic uh, PPP, MLPPP, WAN technologies, PPO, PPPOE, GRE, tunnels. I think they've added a little more VPN concepts. So we have more uh, VPN concepts like DMVPN, side-to-side -side VPN, client VPNs. Um, more of CCNP level topics are coming down to CCNA, which is making CCNA a much more important. I think CCNA, somebody, uh, today at this level, I think with the version 3, if you if you actually get a CCNA certification, I think you can really, really feel good about yourself because there are a lot of topics which is f maybe about a couple of years ago, only a CCNP level uh, engineer would know, but now a CCNA level is expected to know those things, not technology. So, brilliant. A lot of good things happening here. Uh, DNS, DNS, there's all infrastructure services, DHCP, HSRP, uh, NAT, NTP, uh, a good thing, you know, infrastructure securities, uh, 802.1x is coming in here, um, ACLs, uh, what else, AAA authentication, Stack Express and Radius, brilliant, I mean, this is going to be very, very interesting, right, so very, very good times to come. Uh, this series is going to be more interesting now. Uh, people who have watched my old series, I would say, start from here again. Start watching the entire series one by, I mean, entire videos that's going to follow. It's going to be the same videos till day 21, like I explained. But that is going to just re, re, uh, um, I mean, you're going to be refreshing your uh, existing knowledge and get you primed for to start the new topics that would be um, uh, directed towards the CCNA version 3, right? Uh, yeah, so 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 going back to um, uh, how we are going to follow, we would be uh, following ICND, uh, ICND 1 first, the topics that we'll be covering here. Um, of course, like I said, it's it's going to be the same topic that like we discussed. It's more broken down, so it's 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 a smaller chunk of the ICN, uh, CCNA that we discussed now, but the topics are going to be exactly the same, right? So we would be doing uh, ICND one once uh, few after few videos when I think I've covered all the topics that is there in ICND one. I will let you guys know at which time you can go and uh, um, write your uh, CCNA. Uh, I would suggest not taking the old CCNA V two so two hundred. Uh, I mean 100 101 and the 200 101 I think let's not do that let's go to 100 105 and 200 105 right that's the version 3 ICND 1 and ICND 2 uh, so we will update all the topics to cover those extra topics that were not part of the old ICND 1 and and I guys I think you guys can uh, easily crack uh, the version 3 ICND 1 and ICND 2 right so uh, that's that uh, Let's go to, so yeah, so where, where can you find networking? So networking, of course, um, the YouTube channel, that's where all our new videos are going to come. Uh, and uh, I request all of you not to watch, um, not to download videos from YouTube. I would like you and I would request you to watch it on YouTube. And this is given for free for a reason that I'm going to give it free. but. What I want from return is I want you guys to watch it on YouTube so have more YouTube subscribers and YouTube uh, views, right? So that's our YouTube link. Uh, then we have Facebook page on uh, networking. You could go there and like us there and give us, don't forget to give us review because YouTube and Facebook reviews are open and a lot of people have given brilliant reviews. I think almost everybody has given a five star review. So I have almost 100 plus reviews there and all of them are been very very nice and given us nice uh, reviews so feel free to give us reviews there of course and then we have a twitter page on uh, networking where i've uh, not been very active it's a page that's been there for about a couple of years now but never been active there 
I think from now onwards, I'm gonna get somebody to monitor social media pages for networking, uh, and 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 hopefully um, add more content. But all of you, please go uh, subscribe and like. Uh, what about me? Where do you find me? Uh, I have Twitter, so I have not been using Twitter. People have been sending me emails and requests and asking why not uh, Twitter. Of course, I I think it's time. It's very very high time that I start Twitter. So. Good news or bad news? I don't know, but I'm going to be active on Twitter. Please find me on Twitter. That's Imran Rafai. One word, Imran Rafai. I'm also on LinkedIn. Uh, the same thing. It's uh, LinkedIn.com forward slash in forward slash Imran Rafai. So find me on LinkedIn. Uh, people, you could give me a recommendation. I would really appreciate that, right? So you can go there and uh, find me on LinkedIn. I'm also on Facebook, but uh, on Facebook I use it more for personal uh, uh, use. So um, don't send me a friend request on Facebook. I wouldn't accept it because I ha on Facebook I have a policy that I accept uh, friend requests only f from those people who I have met in real life, right? So I uh, please, uh, I'm sorry, uh, no hard feelings, but. I, I think I want to keep it that way where if you if I can put a face on the name right physically real life if I've seen that person or met that person that's only when I'm gonna accept uh, friends on Facebook but you can of course go and follow me on Facebook I'm more active on Facebook if you compare all these three social media platforms Facebook is where I'm more active but I want to be active on Twitter and LinkedIn as well uh, Facebook you could click follow there is a follow button on Facebook and you can follow me you could get into all my posts public posts of course right so so that's that's where I am and um, like always my email address is uh, you can always email it to me email into me uh, imran.rafai at nwking.org and our uh, networking website is nwking.org uh, thank you so much um, and uh, for our new viewers welcome to a journey of wonderful learning for our old viewers look into your right right now and you should have a link that will take you straight to day 22 where you can continue from where you left off uh, in the old series thank you